I've, grown, I've been going there since I was like seven years old, staying at Sharon's house, getting the pros autographs from, you know, when the Billabong used to be there. And um, Yeah, it's just kind of grown now. It's, it's, I don't know, it's a little different for me. You know, when, once you go into J-Bay, it's just, it's the best feeling in the world to, to arrive there and smell the ocean and smell all the, you know, the fame boss and stuff like that. So it's, it's pretty cool. You know, it's, it's just one of those places that I just feel so comfortable going. It's a trip because I go there and I'm competing and I've won it once and it's basically an event that I just don't have anything to prove other than just go surfing. Well, yeah, the wave itself, it breaks on a, you know, mix between reef and sand bottom. Uh, there's a lot of rocks in the, uh, in the beginning of the wave. And then uh, once you keep going down the further down the line, it actually kind of goes more for, onto a sandbar. And uh, you can get really good barrels. It's a long right hander, so you've got to have lots of leg power to, you know, to keep turning throughout the whole wave. And um, yeah, it just gives you a, a really good op opportunity to, to do high performance surfing. I think Geordie was probably the most informed surfer there last year. I think, uh, you know, he's improved out there over the years. He was always good, but last year I was blown away by how, how much he, I guess, uh, adapted better to the wave. You know, he's bigger, stronger, and I think it helps too with all the speed. Even though, yeah, Geordie's, he's a local South African, but you get Geordie anywhere in the world, it's going to be a threat. So it means uh, it didn't surprise me that he won that event. Let's hear it for your 2010 Billabong Cross. Yeah.